Great, Struan, thank you for joining us here Pleasure. on Whiskey Experts. Uh, you brought a new bottling from uh, Glenfiddich with you. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, uh, it's my pleasure to be here. And uh, this is the launch tonight in Austria, uh, in Vienna, for the, the second time with you actually having a whiskey. And yeah, really proud to be introducing a brand new Glenfiddich. It's a 23-year-old Grand Cru. It's uh, something interesting we've been playing with, uh, with a very particular wine cast. Mm -hmm. Legally, we can't exactly say exactly which type of wine, but it's um, a cuvee cask, um, which we've been using as a first and second fill finish right. on a 23-year-old um, Glenfiddich. And just really trying to like accentuate this wonderful kind of uh, delicate, sweet um, fruitiness that you know from Glenfiddich, and then layering some interesting flavors on top as well. Can you talk about how long the finishing has uh, taken time? It's quite interesting, right? So we um, we tried this whiskey for the first time about 18 months ago, mm. and we were using literally 23-year-old Glenfiddich, mostly American oak, a small amount of European, to give us our distillery style. We're then moving for six months into these wine casks, and we were finding was uh, the, the whiskey was interesting, but we were losing some of our sort of character, um, and what we wanted was kind of a more rounded, uh, sweeter approach. So we then took that whiskey and we finished it as a second fill. Oh, I see. So it's a first and second fill, which has then been vatted. And as you know, most of the whiskies that come out of Glenfiddich, before they go to bottling, we have a ton system. For 12-year-old, 15, obviously, right. the Solera system, 18 is in small batches. So this one is in uh, tons before it goes to bottling. And it's um, combining first and second fill cuvee casks. Okay. So I'd say let's try it. Yeah, we should. This is a brand new bottle. Mm. Actually, this is the first bottle we opened in uh, Oh, in perfect. So the styling is very nice of the bottle. It's a black bottle, but it's a little bit translucent. Yeah, we're looking at um, if anyone had the uh, Winter Storm bottle, mm -hmm. which was uh, ceramic in white. Right. Kind of a, a similar style. We've slightly modernized, so we have some new designs also with us for Glenfiddich. We're making more of the valley. So obviously that's a sort of really important image for us right. uh, in terms of obviously the deer lives mm -hmm. in the valley, um, which is a sort of design feature. Obviously maintaining our triangular shape um, because this is really important to Glenfiddich. It was the, you know, the first single malts that left us in the 60s, all celebrating the water, yeast and barley, which right. the three-sided shape represents. Perfect. Uh, a lot of people, when we announced uh, this new whiskey from you, Asked us uh, why is it 40% ABV, why is it not 43 or 46? Is yes. there a reason for that? We have a um, domestic Grand Cru here, which mm -hmm. is 40%. Um, in travel retail, you. you'll have the 43. Um, we just want to differentiate between the two ranges. Um, I'm a whiskey drinker as well as you, and I do like to try things at a little higher strength as well. Mm -hmm. Within our range, we have a 15-year-old distillery edition, 51. All our single casks come out at cask strength. I think um, having tried them through the strengths, this is the one that you know we landed on in terms of appealing to lots of people. Right. You know, with Glenfiddich, I suppose we have to bear in mind that maybe 30,000 people around the world may enjoy this this year, and most of them yeah. are used to drinking drink whiskey at 40. Actually, I don't blame you for having that as in 40%. Mm. Color is beautiful, it's a wonderful amber, golden amber. In terms of the nose, um, Glenfiddich of this style, you know, 23 years, mm. it starts to build up nice richness, concentrating uh, our distillery style, which is green grass, pear and apple. That evolves into more of a sort of rich fruit. And then with the finish, um, you start to pick up things like lemon oil, brioche, sandalwood, nice soft oak flavor. Shall we? Oh, sure. Slange. Slange. Mm. You took a bigger drink than I did, I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> In terms of the, the palate and the finish, we wanted to keep lots of texture in this whiskey, so actually it's quite effervescent, quite lively. Coats it is. Coats the palate quite nicely. Um, I, if I'm doing events and things like this, and obviously I'm speaking a lot, mm -hmm. will normally add some water to my whiskey. Right. I don't think this one needs it. It's quite yep. refreshing. 
This is what time is it now? It's about six thirty. Yeah, it's a nice time in the evening actually to yeah, have absolutely. a whiskey like this. Yeah. Um, almost pre-dinner, um, and it really sets you up for a great evening. And it's it's really impressive for forty percent ABV. Mm -hmm. So uh, the question is answered now. That's <laughs> that's a good uh, good uh, way to drink this one. We're working actually. Uh, we've been doing an experimental mm -hmm. series year on year, as you know. I know, yeah. And for the future, obviously, because this is our big release for the year, in the coming years, we're going to make sure that experimental series is going to be um, higher strength, non-chill filter. Right. Just so that people are getting something from Glenfiddich that's more of our natural style. But this is easy drinking, very beautiful, and I actually, I think the nose is very impressive as well. Mm. Well, if you have tried a few of Brian Kinsman's whiskeys mm -hmm. over the last few years. He definitely has a certain style. Oh yes. Always balance, always a nice influence from oak. Certainly it's something that you'll see from David Stewart mm -hmm. as well. And um, I think this is just a classic Glenfiddich. We're really, um, really pleased with the way it turned out. Yeah, so Strun, thank you for coming by. That's a pleasure. And bringing this whiskey. So yeah. let's have a nice evening here in Vienna. Slange. I wish you all the best. It's good to see you, Slange. Slange. <laughs>